In this video I will wrap text around divs elements like in this case. Okay, so I will use just HTML and CSS, nothing very difficult to understand. First I start with an empty file. Also I am using Visual Studio Code. You can use any text editor and I'm using Google Chrome to visualize the web page. So what I want to do here is something like this. I want to create a div with a class wrap and a p for paragraph and after that another div with same class as this one called wrap and inside this div I want to have an image after this div I will put another paragraph okay so let's do that first div and it has a class name wrap okay inside of this uh, div I will put some text here okay and after this a p for a paragraph i will put some text here another div with the class wrap and another p element here let's insert the text for the paragraph i go to the website lipsum.com where you can get some random text from here so I get this first paragraph and copy and put here okay and for the second paragraph I go to the same website and copy and paste like this okay also in this div I want to insert an image let's put in the image element with a source let's see here I have this image of the Tom and Jerry. It's in the same folder of our source code file, okay? So let me copy this name. I can close now and paste. Let's see the result. So for now we have some text here, a random paragraph, an image, and another random paragraph. Now let's put some style. I create a style element where I can insert a CSS. I say that the body have a font size of 300% so you can see better. And the result is this. Okay. All the div elements that have the class name wrap have a height of 200 pixels and a width of 25%. A background of red and text color should be white. Also, text align to the center. Let's see the, the result. And we have a square or here and text after that we have an image and the text is over the image okay let's put in the um, the image in the same size of our div to do that we go here and image height a hundred percent and width also a hundred percent like this. Let's see the result and the image is smaller. So now we have this page where the elements are stacked one following the other okay I want to put the paragraph side by side with the div and the second paragraph also should be side by side with the div and the image okay to do that I should add the property float left to the div with the float left I'm saying that elements after me me is the div should be by my side 
we go here to the div dot wrap and say that float left we go here the result is this one we have our box and the text is at is side and with the image we have the same result now I want to give some more space here between the text and the image and the text and this box go here to the wrap class and say margin right should be 10 pixels and the result we have more space between the text and the box also more space between the text and the image so in the third step I want to add some space between the top and these elements also I want to move this image a little to the bottom to do that I will create another div like in this draw I will create a div with the class top space and another div with the class top space so these two elements can move down a little so here in the CSS I create a div for all the div elements that have the class top space it should have a width of 5 pixels and a height of 200 pixels these 5 pixels are not necessary I just using it so you can see in the screen so I will add a border of solid 10 pixels green now I have to add a div element here with this class div with the class top space also I want to add another div here let's see the result and now we have this element pushing to the bottom this second element okay and in the second paragraph you we have the same effect now I want to move these two elements side by side with top space like this so I will apply the float left that says elements after me after top space should be at my side so we go here to the div top space and add float left let's see the result now we have the element side by side but I want to this element to ignore this rule so the text can be side by side with this div element this square not also the same rule to this image go here and go up to the div wrap class and add clear both property here in the draw if you say that clear both to the div class wrap and div class wrap with the image you are saying that hey I shouldn't be at the side of elements before me so this element is saying to the whole page that I don't want to be side by side with the elements before me these two elements okay so I applied the clear boat property and the result is this and the image is equals now I will remove this green so you can see it more clear okay to remove that I go here to the div top space and the width should be 0 pixels and it shouldn't have a border so I remove the border let's see the result that is it in this final step I want to move this image to the right side okay to do that here in the CSS div dot float 
right class and add the property float right k okay. next i will add this class to this div element so for now you know that an element can have one or more classes okay let's see the result and the element moved to the right and the second the first one is still here in the left thank you and hope you like it